from AC Doc Heating and Cooling, and I'm here to give you some tips and hopefully some good advice on maintaining your furnace and your air conditioner, and something that's very easy, easily done and often overlooked, and we see it all the time, is cleaning your air filters on your furnace. I can't stress how critical this is, and this is something that's pretty simple that the average homeowner should be able to do. Um, before you start changing your air filter, it's always best to turn the system off at the furnace. You normally should have an on-off switch. Normally, up is on, down is off. Turn the circuit breaker off uh, before you go opening the panels and getting into the system. I have several different types of filters here I'm going to talk to you about. These are a one-inch fiberglass filters that I really don't even recommend. As you can see right through it, it doesn't pick up any of the small uh, particles and things of that nature. So, last ditch, ditch effort. You're out at the store, this is the only thing you have and you don't have a filter in, then I'd put it in. Uh, if not, I would pretty much avoid this particular filter. That's just my opinion. The next one is a one inch uh, washable filter. Again, it's not a whole lot better in my opinion. Uh, again, you can see through it, so it's not going to pick up any small uh, particles really. Okay, and it is nice that you can just, you know, wash it out or vacuum it. Uh, let it dry after you wash it and put it back in. After a couple of years, these do start to deteriorate, so they do need to be replaced, you know, every couple of years uh, or so. Um, cheap insurance with the filters every month. They can last up to three months. It all depends on the activities in the house. You have dogs and cats, things of that nature. Again, every environment in the house is different from home to home. Cheap insurance with these filters that are disposable is change them every month. Uh, you know, and it will, especially if you got a new system, it's cheap insurance. Pleated filter, one inch pleated filter is what I recommend. They're disposable again, uh, three to five dollars at your home, uh, you know, hardware stores. And uh, that's really what I recommend. They have some that cost as much as fifteen dollars. I really don't recommend them only because they got, uh, there are such high static pressure uh, drops across them that it causes duck whistling, noise, overheats the furnace, things of that nature. So, um, I will try to avoid those, uh, but just a good, like I said, three to five dollar pleated filter. Okay, and then I'm going to show you my preference. If you really want a good air filter system that you're not going to have to maintain as often, this is what I recommend: is the five inch pleated filter. Now, keep in mind the cabinet's about seven inches wide. Not every application can accept these because of the ductwork and space confinements in that uh, situation. But if you're putting a new system in, this is what I'd recommend to do. One that's easy, it's spring-loaded door. Very easy to change this filter. There's a cartridge in here that you slides in and out once you pull that door off. This will last six months to a year, again, depending on the environment and the activities in the house. Again, it's cheap insurance. The initial cost is for the whole thing and the duct work and the time. But once it's in, then all you're doing is paying for this. And like I said, that most average homeowners can, you know, you pull the door off and you slide this guy in and out. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. And this you put a good filter like this in, 10 years from now, if you're changing this religiously, 10 years from now I come out and look inside that furnace, it's going to look like it's brand new. They have much better filters for allergies and things of that nature than this one. However, it requires a lot more maintenance. They're a lot more expensive. And if you're not maintaining them, then you've got a very expensive air filter that is not performing uh, what it's designed to do. So that's why I like this one. Most people will take care of this because it's, you don't need to take anything out and soak it and wash it and wait around. Like I said, you slide it out, you throw it away, you slide another one back in. Very simple. And the door pops in and out very easily. You do have to give it a little, a little bit of a tug, but not a big deal. So that's why I recommend. Again, this is Scott from AC Dock Heating and Cooling, and I hope that was helpful.